Hey, welcome back guys. So we do have a nice table here, but so many errors in this table. So it's telling us undefined variable message in C on line 29. Now undefined variable is the easiest uh, error to deal with because you just have to make sure your variable is uh, defined. That's it. So where do we go here? Hmm. Okay. That's because I left out this one. This user here should be message like so. Okay, so let's come back and refresh. Okay, there we go. Everything looks good. Now the delete here, I wanted that icon, but for some reason I can't get it. So let me find it somewhere here. I'm going to right click inside here and see what that has. Trash all, really? Wow. Okay, so I left out an O there. Let me come back and let's see that in action. Messages. Okay, so there it is. Delete. Okay. But why is the other one different? Let me see. Maybe as well on the sidebar. Where are we, sidebar? Maybe I just need an O there as well. I forgot to actually find out the name of this icon while I was away. Nah, it doesn't work. Okay, so no problems there. Uh, all I need now is to, let's add a link because we do have the message, we have the email, we have the subject. So this is all good. All we need is to be able to delete when we want to. So let's see that in action. So let's go back to messages.php right here where there is the trash can. I think I better swap these two. Let me add uh, a link. So href back here. Let's put that here. Okay, something of this sort. Let's refresh and there we go. So delete. Mm -hmm. Now where do we take the user on this delete? Well, Let's put our PHP tags, put root, close that, and then let's go to admin slash messages slash. Now right on messages here, I'm just going to say delete is equal to, and I want to add a um, an ID. So message ID, like so. Right it then. So let's refresh and click there. Delete is equal to two, delete is equal to one. Mm -hmm. So let me try and delete the first one. Clip. So this is the delete there. Messages slash delete. Hmm. But why is it not showing? Wait a minute, something not good here. Ah, looky there, my mistake. So the difference is that on the, um, let's go to admin.php, this is messages, messages. Uh, one of them has one S here, which is uh, not cool. So let me come back here. If I click on messages here, okay, here we go, messages, uh -huh. click here. Okay, so it's the same one that I have for the, for the delete, right there, one S, uh -huh. because I was supposed to still see this even after clicking the delete button. So click delete. Okay, that is good. Only that the URL has changed to to contain delete is equal to one. So all we have to do now is to read from one of these guys. If we have um, we have a get variable there, we have to do something else. So where is this? Da -da 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 -da.
Let me go back to admin.php. So right here, I want to see, ah, there we go. Type is good messages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's create another variable. I'm just going to call it mod. Mod is equal to read for now, but then we can change mode to something else. So let's just put a tenary operator. And I'm just going to say, if it is set, the get variable, um, if the get variable delete is set, then what I will do is put a question mark like so. And then this becomes a delete like so. Mm -hmm. So mode becomes delete. Yeah, I think that will do just fine. So if the mode is equal to delete, then instead of getting all of these guys, let's get only one. So I'll duplicate this. And instead, I'm just going to say, um, if mode be equal to delete. So make sure you put two double equal signs there, otherwise it becomes an assignment. So like so. And then else, let's do the other one. So bang, bang, okay. So if it's equal to delete, then we say get one, like so. And there should be an ID obviously in here, but let's set the ID to ID be equal to uh, get this very get variable here, delete, like so. All right then. So messages, messages. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go back to our messages class, you see that it returns this get one. There's no get one actually. Hmm. Okay, so let's copy again from one of these, uh, let's say uh, category class. There should be a get one here, so we don't have to suffer. I'm going to copy this, copy that. The reason we want to get one instead of just delete it is because we want to ask the user, are you sure you want to delete before we can actually confirm the delete? So let me move that back a bit. So get one ID, and then I will say uh, select all from contact us. Where ID, ID, limit, limit. Okay, everything looks good. We're good to go. So back to admin, yes. So right here, I think everything remains the same, except we need mode so that to know which mode we are in. So duplicate that and change to mode. And we're home and dry. Okay, so now let's go back to messages.php and let's find out what the mode is. So we know the mode is always there, so let's just... Um, the question of how to display the message. Okay, I think we use the same table. Why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all I will do is I'm just going to put the if statement here and say uh, if if mode be equal to read, uh, then we are well and good here. Okay, close that and if and if let me duplicate the and if a couple of times and put an else here full colon and i actually didn't need to duplicate that wait 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 before i delete there are two if statements here so let me move this inward like so okay yes so right here what i need now is i don't need to loop I just need this, this whole line up to there, copy that, and I just want to put it here. Shift tab like so, and then I don't need this delete part because we are already in delete mode at this point, like so. All right, so instead of message here, I'm just going to use messages like so 
So if mod is equal to read, we want an else if here. So copy that. Else if mode is equal to delete. And what we want, let's see, and messages be equal to, no, actually, let's ask the question, is object. So the reason we're not asking for is array is because we are returning one object. Usually we return arrays of an array of objects, but now we're just returning one object. So we ask is object and all this message here should be converted to messages for convenience. Yeah, let's put an S at the very end. Refresh. Okay, there we go. So now there's a warning undefined variable messages online 43. Hmm, 43. Where exactly? There's so many of these guys. What is it saying exactly? Undefined property messages online 43. Oh, I think that's because here messages should have remained message the last one here messages message okay okay refresh there we go so we don't need the action thingy here or do we ah uh, no we don't need it so i'm going to get rid of it oh but i can't because it's up here hmm okay it shall be forgiven all I need is to put a button here, really. So I'm just going to add an input like so. Let's create a form. I thought there was a form up here, but uh, it doesn't look like there is. So let's create a form, simple form real quick, like so. Move that there. Let's add the method actually uh let's just use let's use a get variable mm -hmm. let's use get i don't want to complicate things with uh with a form like this Now, the reason we can get away with this, you know, get is not very secure, but the reason we can get away with it is because when we, whoever comes to this, for as long as this part is being read, they have to be an admin for them to be able to do this. So if it's the admin playing around with the URL, it's no big deal. So it's only good to use post when you are unsure of who is going to be sending that data. But here I will know that it's only admins. So it is okay. So what I can do is copy this href over here, copy, and I will put it on my input, like so, and then close that input, that a tag right here. But then here I will say delete underscore confirmed. Yeah, delete confirmed or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the idea of what we are deleting. Okay, so that's good. And then, um, okay, so let's finish up with the input. It's of type button. And then let's put a class of button and button warning, something like that. Let's give it a value of delete okay that should do it so refresh okay so there we go there i think i may have added a wrong thing somewhere so href href okay i give up i can't find it it's saying um 
Hmm, it's like the error message is being lost in translation here. But why? A href goes to this one, messages. Okay, so it's this one right here. Let me put an S right there. Refresh. Okay, that does it actually. Delete. So a class I want to add is pull right. Usually looks better on the other side. And this is table row. Oh, that's because it's inside a table. So that's why we have the button at the top. So delete over there, you can put it wherever you want. So once we click delete, then it goes to the next stage. So if I click right here, oh, we need to ask the question, obviously. So let's add a paragraph. Are you sure? In fact, uh, let's just add a message here. Let's use what's already there. I'm going to go to the contact where is that contact PHP? And I will copy this danger from there and copy. Come back to the admin section. Where is this messages.php? Paste it there. And then here, we're just going to ask the question. Are you sure you want to delete this message? Double question mark refresh okay very good are you sure you want to delete this message and you're like yeah sure sure man i'm sure i'm sure and then you go ahead and click the button so let's click that button delete and it seems we are back to normal are we hmm all right so let's see the actual deletion in the next video